Hey guys, we're back here with uh, scene two for factory IO using a Siemens S7 1200 BLC. Here's our welcome screen. We go to scenes. Well, I guess for sure we should go to uh, see what it's supposed to look like. Open two of them. These all open in a web browser, so you have to hit the X there to close them out. There is scene two from A to B, set and reset. Looks very similar to scene one. Let's check what we're doing here. So we have a conveyor that's running automatically. And it looks like this sensor triggers. Start the second conveyor. And they call it set and reset. So I'm guessing that's going to trigger a latch. And then it unlatches when it gets to the end and stops the conveyor. Let's see here. Go to scenes and this one. Sure, I'll save settings. Oh, maybe I won't. All right, here we are. This is the scene, and I have some of the default stuff turned off. Normally, when you open it up, you'll see this big box here taking up a bunch of room. I have that turned off. We have two sensors. So when I hit play, yep. When I hit play, this conveyor automatically runs, so I don't have to do anything with that. It looks like when uh, it gets to the second conveyor, though, nothing happens. Yeah. So the idea is we have to turn this conveyor on when this sensor makes, and then stop the conveyor when that one makes, which should just be a simple latch. Uh, question's going to be, what kind of signals are they outputting? Here is my 1200. The configuration, it saved my IP address, so that's good. I need to put the 10 offset in there. And I always want to go down here and hit save, but there is no save. All you do is just hit back. Um, so here's my IO. And I will go there to export my IO. I'll uh, open folder and I will drag it to desktop so I know where to find it. And I will go into TIA. So over here in TIA, I have factory IO2 is my file name. I've already added my processor. I want to go to, where are my tags? Show all tags. Oh, my tags are already in here from earlier. But I would go to import and I would select that file. And then when I hit import, it looks like this. It already has them in there. And it says from XML. So I just recently found out that this doesn't work in version 13. In version 13, you need an Excel spreadsheet. Version 13, you can't import XML files. Um, so I don't know when they started it. I'm on 15 now, so I would think anything newer than 15 would be able to import. Um, where are we at? So we got the two sensors and we got the conveyor. This factory IO running, I haven't used that for anything yet. Um, what is, let's look at what our outputs are. Come back. Yep, that's not it. Go back to here. So lit up means that they're currently true. Um, so both the sensors are providing an input to the processor right now. That is important to know for when we do our logic. So we're going to add a block under program blocks. We're going to add a function. And we'll just leave it the default block one name. Hit OK. And it'll be in there in a second. There we are, and we are automatically took us into that block. So because they're both true, um, I think we want a normally closed. So we need to make a latch, but it's not going to look like a normal latch that you would use with push button or anything. Um, they're true. So if we make this one a, this is the first sensor. So it will not be triggered right now. It won't be triggered until this is made. So when this makes, um, this will drop out and then that will make that instruction true. Does that make sense? It's kind of like everything's backwards right there. So we're going to put the latch around that and then in series we'll put a normally open um, that's going to be made true by sensor B because again, if we go back here, this is on right now. Uh, sensor B, it's bright, it's not dim, so that means 
it's true or it's energized or it's sending out a signal, depending on how you want to look at it, um, it's triggered right now and then it'll drop out when the light gets broken. So if we go back over here, right now this is going to be true and this is going to be false or this is going to be closed and this is going to be open, depending on how you look at it. We know our conveyor is going over here and we know what output that is. It's the only output we have, the conveyor. So now we just have to latch around sensor A, which is going to be that guy. And well, hold on. It's still going to be normally open down there. And that guy back up. And it's going to be the same as conveyor. So now this will not be made because it's outputting a signal right now. So it's normally closed when it's not receiving a signal, but it is receiving a signal from sensor A. When sensor A's beam gets broken, this will change state and go true. This will still be true um, to make the K. Let me just run this first before I explain how it works. <laughs> make sure I got it right. Um, I'm going to go up here, right click it and hit compile and software only changes. And then I'm going to go to uh, download the device, software only changes. It's loading and then I'm going to go online. And because I matched everything up before I went online, we're all green here. Now to see this, I hit the glasses. Oh, you know what? This is a good, good point. Um, so I hit the glasses and it's not showing that it's active right now because it's not being called by OB1. So if I go into OB1, nothing's in there. OB1 is the only thing that runs. So I can drag that over there, put it on there, and see if I can do that online edit. I'm still online, so I need to recompile. And then I need to download it to the device again. Now let's go back to it. And now hit the glasses. Now it's showing me that I'm online. So you can't see this in the video, but it's highlighted in green over here. Um, it doesn't come up with the video capture for some reason, but the, what you can see is where a solid line is versus where a dashed line are, is. The solid line means there's, um, I don't want to say current flow, but the signal's getting to there. So right now it's not activating the conveyor because it's not getting through sensor A. Um, sensor B is highlighted right now. So sensor B is true and this is false. So as soon as sensor A gets made, this will go true. It'll latch the conveyor on around here. And then when sensor B at the end of the conveyor um, gets triggered by the box, this will drop out and drop out the latch. That's the idea anyway. So we'll go back to here. And I'll try to make it so we can see everything. There we go. And this triggers right there. Okay, it's on now. When it gets out here, this should drop out and kill the latch. There it goes. And the reason you still hear a noise is because the conveyor, the first conveyor, the infeed conveyor, just runs constantly in this simulation. Um, so that that's just all set up by default. All you have to do is turn this one on and off. I'll replay it here. So that doesn't turn on until that's made, and then when it gets to the end, it stops. That's it.